don't forget to like and subscribe. Wake up, my pet. Wake up and let me see those pretty eyes. Mm. No, don't make me pry them open for you. <laughs> that is more like it. You were sleeping so soundly. You must really enjoy the silk trench bed that I gave you. After all, you've been working so hard to earn it. Haven't you been my good, obedient little slave for so many weeks by now? I am so proud when you behave for me. But today, I will be testing you. I feel like I might be tempted to act out during today's events. <laughs> so you have to forego your morning meal for now. If you behave, I'll you have your pick of foods and drinks once this is all over. Now whether you can manage that, we'll have to see. Oh, oh. how long has it been since I've seen a flicker of apprehension in those eyes? I've tamed you down so well. That I thought I might never see those again. <laughs> Today may be more enjoyable than I thought. Now sit up for me. No, no, you don't have to worry about your hair. You also don't need to worry about getting dressed. I think have you all tussled and bare like this. But when we <laughs> add to today's experience, I've also brought something for you. Would you like to see? No, no, no. You know how to ask for it. <laughs> oh, I'm never tired of hearing. Yes, master, leaving your lips. Very well. What do you think? I've used chains in your color for so long, but I thought it was a high time to put you in robes. But plain robe is just so dreadfully boring. Oddly worthy of my beloved pen. That is why I am going to bind you in crimson. Come. Mm. You've earned the privilege to maintain this muscles. This beautiful form. There's a pin. Invigorate to train your body again since I've taken you. You've finally begun to understand what it means to be mine. I will give you everything that you desire. If only you obey and behave. Oh, it pleases me to see you like this. Makes me want to lay a good, hard slap on that ass. Oh, no. You didn't do anything wrong. There is no need for you to apologize this time. 
I just wanted to do that. And you let me. Go, go. Now keep your arms to your sides until I instruct you to move them. Start with that pretty neck of yours. Now, my pen. I have quite a way to go before finishing your binding. Now, put your arms behind your back for me. Oh, I'm intrigued that you are so taken by this. Do you want to know why I'm doing this to you, my pen? Are you curious to what is coming next? It's so right, you may ask. <laughs> Very cool. You see, I'm not the only enemy that you've made in your former life. You've had many rivals who happened to cross my path. One in particular was quite envious that I managed to ensnare you the way I did. I can tell you right now that had he been the one to do you so, he would have not treated you so kindly. Most likely he would have killed you outright, unlike your benevolent master. However, you are not the only of my possessions. And he has been quite beneficial to me recently. So as such, I am conceding him the right to you. That is why I am binding you. So as to give you to him. Oh, hush now, my pet. Don't begin struggling now. I've just told well, you've been behaving. Don't make a liar out of me. Oh, I said, be still. And this is why I've bound your arms before informing you. 
I have wondered if this would stroll whatever dying embers of resistance might be buried deep inside of you. Seems like that was just a case. Shall I remind you just what you are right now? Are you really going to make me force you on your knees? Very well. Down on your knees and bow. All the way down. Press your forehead against the floor before I slam it down for you. Why have you bound and helpless? Don't test me. Let me remind you of something. You are mine. And I may do with you as I wish. If I want to give you, then so I will. And you will obey and submit. This you have earned for such a display. <laughs> I'm curious if these days my strikes are a true punishment or not, considering the sounds you make when I give them to you. No matter. To your feet now. Stand before the mirror. I want you to see exactly what I'm giving you. Lovely, isn't it? Do your best to earn this and wear it proudly, my pet. This is for my pleasure above anyone else. It will be engaging to watch and see how you react to his whims. Hmm. You did not think that I'd be leaving you alone, did you? I am wounded that you'd think such a thing. I must ensure that no harm will come to my beloved pet. While he deals with you as you would like, I shall dictate how much you can bear it. In that way, your tests will be judged by your silence, obedience, and endurance. Trust me that I will not allow any permanent damage. I could not abide my pet to be mangled out of such a petty grudge. As my property, I am responsible for your condition. If anyone had the power to damage you, it is me alone. You wouldn't push me so far, would you? My god, it's a slot of a Bad. Oh, my beloved, you and my favor simply blush and so red at my voice. You are such a slut, even for my very words, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I know you proud today, and when you do, I will make sure to reward you plenty. Now look, look at the mouth-watering I've made you, adorning you so beautifully in crimson robes and knots. I knew you Take to it like you were made for it. It almost makes me want to take you for myself right now. But I am a man of my word. Now that you've taken a good look at yourself, close your eyes for me. Hmm. One time, at one time you would have 
question me or even defy my orders. But now, oh, your obedience is delightful. By now I feel like you'd keep them shut through anything that I demand. However, I cannot resist seeing you with this blindfold over your eyes. Ah, uh, yes. It suits you perfectly. Black and crimson make for the most beautiful pairings. Now come, follow my voice. That's it. A few steps further. Now stop and kneel once more. Let me help you gaze onto your side. I can sense that you have a question. You may speak. Oh, my sweet bear. Did you really think that would not also bind your legs? 